So what I'm doing is I'm actually comparing the two. The racing electronic headsets against the rugged headsets. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today I got a really cool NASCAR fan product. We are talking about headsets for NASCAR. What I'm talking about is this headset right here. This is made by Rugged. Well, this year we did something a little different. Now, Racing Electronics, they have, they're tethered and you wear it like so, like this. And then you have the microphone and you talk into the microphone and you can talk to each other. You press a button on the left-hand side here and you talk. That's great. And you're tethered. You have a cord that goes from here to, the, to your partner right next to you. And you're tethered and you can talk back and forth with each other with no problem. Then you have a cable that goes from the headset itself to your scanner. And that is Plus, it. Plus, these require a 9-volt battery, okay? The Rugged does not. Now, in terms of comfort, it's just a cloth that is on the rubber this, we could take this cloth off and throw it on on the other one with no problem whatsoever. whatsoever. It just comes off. It's not a big deal. But we use them without the cloth, just the rubber, and it worked perfectly fine. Okay, so this is what it would look like. Okay? And they worked great. We couldn't hear a thing when we we're at NASCAR, which is the whole point. <laughs> But the plus side to this particular version is that it offers the ability to plug in a radio. You can use, if you're a ham operator or a GMRS operator, you're able to use the Baofeng UV5R with the headset. So you can simply, or even an MD380 or a Kenwood radio. This connector here is backward compatible with both. And this plugs in like so and then you plug yourself in here to the headset, and now you're no longer tethered. Now you're communicating over RF, and now you're not tethered. So if you, one of you have to go to the bathroom or go get something to eat, and oh, what do you want, a Bud Light? Oh, what do you want, a, a Heineken? You just transmit and hit the person, and this went pretty far. We set this thing for one watt instead of five watts, and it worked perfectly, and it lasted the entire four hour race communicating back and forth. So I give Rugged, this particular product, a five-star rating because it kicked butt. We just came back from NASCAR and this is what we used. And it was the best freaking time we've ever had. We were, it was great. It was, thankfully, it came as a kit. I will have a link in, in the description below to buy this kit. Comes with the cable and the headset together. Ignore all the negative reviews. None of them are true. This headset kicks butt. It's worth every penny and it's super cheap. It's like 70 bucks, I think, for the headset and then added the cable and it comes with the kit. It's under 100 bucks a piece, okay? And so you have to, much cheaper than this, okay? Much cheaper than the racing electronic headsets. Yes, they sound great. So do these. And for the fraction of the price, you can get it. You still will have to get the racing electronics Scanner, these are $250 a piece. Um, we, we did buy these, these do work great. These are self-programmable. You're actually at the location, you hit program, it gets over the airwaves. This is an RE3000 and we have two of them. So anyway, the rugged product that we have here kicks major butt. It works really well, perfect for NASCAR fans because you don't want it, it's very noisy when you're there, if you guys are familiar with it. And this is the way to go if you're on a budget and you have a radio. This is great. So you can get GMRS radios that have the same plug on here that's not field programmable. We happen to be ham operators, both of us, so we were shouting out ID from time to time as we were transmitting on VHF. So obviously if you have a, a GMRS radio and you have the ability to plug in, you know, that plug in using a Kenwood style cable, you're golden. So anyway, guys, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care 
and we'll see you next time.